Ever get pocket money from your parents and you feel like you're the richest just for it to be the next day and you're like broke? You wonder where all that money went to? I mean, can you relate to that? Because I can. <laughs> beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl Martha france and today we are talking about five financial tips every college student should live by so let's jump right into it tip number one is make sure you have a budget and stick to it learn how to drop a budget where you can measure your expenses how much it is you have to spend for your bills how much it is you have to spend for groceries how much it is you have to spend for whatsoever have a budget and make sure you stick to it because when you have a budget you'll not be able to overspend or you'll not be able to spend less okay well i think there's nothing wrong with spending less it's a way of saving money tip number two is pay your tithe give your tithe to the church 10 percent of your pocket money to the church now i know you'll probably be wondering like no oh, i don't have much i can't give a tithe to the church and all that and it's mandatory for every christian to pay a tithe to the church and i can testify to this that anytime i give my tithe god always comes through for me so there is no large amount of money you can have and you know like hold it on to yourself and think that if i don't give I won't have for myself but remember the bible says to whom much is given much is required. tip number three is look for cheaper options now me home girl i am somebody that who can travel from a supermarket in another you know sort of place or location just to go and buy tomato oil whatsoever fish just because they have a sale there if the supermarket in my area i feel like it's expensive and that is a actually a very good uh, you know tip to live by as a college student because you don't want to buy something that is not within your means it's very important you know so look for options where they have sales where they have you know prices that are not so high look for those options and go for it you'll save money and you know you buy things at an affordable rate. It's always good to make sure you live within your means because sometimes we tend to buy, you know, expensive things just probably for, you know, showing off sake or whatsoever. But at the end of the day, when it's you and you alone, you know that damn, your pockets are dry. You, you, you can't even sleep because you overspent and all that. So always look for options where you can pay less or spend less it's really really good and tip number four is have other streams of income don't always depend on the money that comes in from your parents you know because i mean like i don't know what it is but when you're in college the expenses are so much it's as if you have children it's as if you have i mean like i feel like i'm a parent when i don't even have any child i feel like i have to buy nappies i have to buy milk i have to buy this i mean i just don't know where the expenses come from so it's always good to you know have side hustles that you know you can fish income here and there that can help you out because sometimes girl you want this bag uh you want this and you know you have to spend as well on school books and all that and whatever you get from your parents is what you have to manage so having other streams of income can actually help you to you know yeah add on to whatever you get and you can be able to buy whatever it is that you need and still be able to live you know in a comfortable in a comfortable way and within your budget and tip number five is live in your means now this is a huge huge like this is like the 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 one you know live within your means because sometimes when in college we tend to look at our friends we tend to look on what's going on on the gram and we want the latest iphone we want the latest bags we want the latest everything and it's not even within your means now baby girl live within your means and live a content life. I hope life. these tips were helpful and I hope you can relate to some of them. And if you haven't yet started budgeting or checking out your expenses and, and all that, I hope you'd, you know, do it because it's very important that we learn how it is to manage our money. And yeah, make sure you stick to budget and not overspend and all that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Toodles! Oh, by the way, send me money, okay? I'm still broke. 
the college life is real <laughs> make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video until next time toodles do you ever get money from your parents and just for the next day for you to be broke this is the college life these are the struggles this is where we find ourselves <laughs>